Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Scarlett and these are my bunnies. So on the, I'm just going to flip this video around and I'll bring you guys back. Alrighty, so this is the inside of my bunny barn here. So I've got three different cages right now. So the top one is all one cage and that's where I have my two does. Um, the bottom left I have a one and a half year old boy and on the right I have another boy that's about nine weeks old right now. So I'll take you up closer. So this is the inside of the of the top one. So I've got a litter box there with some shavings and they've got, I'll get it to refocus for you. There we go. A toy in the back there. I've put tin on the back wall and then a um, lino and some flooring on top of the lino just to protect the wood. So kind of overkill on the top layer, but uh, better safe than sorry, I figured. So they share a uh, uh, water. And then they've got their hay. And that girl there with the broken leg, that's Dixie. She had an incident with another doe, so we separated those two. And we've just got these two sisters together now. So the brown one is Trixie, Dixie and Trixie. They've got pellets in there behind them. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, so they've got hay and pellets and that's their, their main diet. And then I have a garden in the back so they get fresh veggies in the summer and the fall and then I take them out and they eat grass and clover and all sorts of nice good stuff in the lawn. <clears throat> They've got another little toy there and then another litter box. So because I have the two bunnies, two litter boxes and these girls are only nine weeks old. So they're gonna be getting much, much bigger. They're a Flemish giant um, crossbreed. I'm not sure what they're mixed with, but they are not purebred. And then this little guy down here, I've got his um, litter box in the corner and he's got a toy, a little hay, hay hutch, uh, or not hutch, but yeah, he goes in there and sits on top and that his name is Dumper and he loves giving kisses. Yes, he does. He loves giving kisses. And he's one and a half years old um and then we've got his hay in the back there and a bowl of pellets for him and his water is just on the outside now oh, that's his cage and then over here is my giant chinchilla mix with um a flemish giant uh crossbreed he's not a purebred either but he has that giant chin chinchilla coat and he is so 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 soft so he is going to be bred with um, Trixie, who's over there, and I don't know what we're gonna do with Dixie just yet. I want to see how her leg heals before I breed her because if she's not a 100%, I'm not gonna breed her, so she'll just be a pet. So, ooh, zoom out here. He has his litter box, pellets, water on the outside, like Thumper toy hay and another little uh, hay thing to chew on and go inside and play around. So this guy is Thor. And he loves to cuddle. Yes, you do. <laughs> His papa was very, very big. He was at least 20 pounds. So be curious to see how big this guy We'll get, hey, yeah, you're a good boy, eh? You got an itch. Yeah, so generally speaking, I'll come out here every day and, um, and clean their litter boxes. Um, if it's nice and I'm out here checking on them anyways, why not? So I've got lino in this one. Um, that's just a USB board and drywall on those sides so i'm just gonna see if he leaves it alone 
If he does it, then we'll have to reinforce it somehow. But he's got two toys in there that he can chew on, so hopefully he's good in that department. Hey, little thumper. Are you cleaning your paws? And this guy is uh, fully house trained. We can, when we bring him in, he will run around the house and he does not go out, out of the litter box. He is a Netherland dwarf mix cross. I'm guessing I never was told what he is. So I think he kind of has some traits from what my uh, untrained eye sees. So if you guys know, feel free to message. So yeah, so I'm gonna breed these, these two for sure. Um, some will go to meat, some uh, for pelts, and if, uh, if someone is interested in a pet and can show show me that they are going to give it a, a good home, then I may consider selling, but that's not the goal here. They're just my hobby, so I can love them and spoil them. Hey, Trixie. The two girls will love to, when we go sit out um, at the fire, they love to come out to the fire with us and cuddle on somebody's lap. And then my intention is to build three more cages along this wall, but um, We will get to it. It is on the to-do list. So yeah, I have my shavings over here and my pellets. Uh, hay is in a separate storage room. Uh, and then we've got my, that's my bucket I use for cleaning. So I have a glove in there. So I just put everybody's um, soil shavings and manure in there. Then I can just take it out and dump it in our compost that we've got going on and I've got my little dustpan um because the girls will poop um when they eat their hay they they only pee in their their litter boxes but they poop where they where they eat so I just uh will sweep up all the the dust there like next time I clean I'll sweep it up and it's so so easy to clean And then we'll make some more cages over here for Trixie's and Thor's offspring. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll hope to see you again soon. Bye now.